what is up you guys welcome back to my channel if you guys are new here be sure to subscribe and make a ton of videos all about self-care hygiene fragrance lifestyle all of the sort so today we are going to be doing a q a get ready with me i'm going to be doing my makeup and showing you guys some new makeup products that i've recently been using and buying and that i've been loving while answering some questions that you guys asked so if you guys would like to see that let's go ahead and get started so I have my super cute makeup bag here I just got this off of Amazon and I love it so much it is the perfect size so I'm just gonna start with my primer I'm using this elf poreless putty primer everyone loves this and it is so good I love it too and I'm just going to really Press that into my skin. I already did all like my skin prep and whatnot. I'm gonna go ahead and use this new Fenty Beauty um, Ease Drop Blurring Skin Tint. I recently got this like yesterday, so I haven't even tried this yet. So this will be interesting to test out. We will get in with the questions soon. I just want to do my skin first. And then we will get into the questions. So I'm just applying this like that. I need a mirror. I'm going to take my little Real Technique sponge and pat that into my skin. I actually did pretty good with the coloring, I think. I think I got color. Let me see. I got the shade 5. And it was totally just off of like, um, I think this looks like me. <laughs> But I'm really liking this so far. I tried the Cali Ray skin tint as well. And it was not my favorite to be honest. It was too liquidy for me and way too light of coverage. It was a clean beauty, beauty brand. But I just wasn't into it as much. So I did return it or exchange it for this Fenty beauty one and I actually really like the way it looks off a of first glance it looks like skin but it's definitely um pretty good coverage it's like medium coverage so I will try to link or have all the products that I use down below so I don't have to keep mentioning them I'm just applying some concealer now wow it's so hard to like do your makeup and talk I don't know how beauty gurus do this <laughs> So first question I have here is, how's your job going? What do you do? How are you liking it? Did you get to talk to anyone in real life about your love for Bath and Body Works and fragrance? Thank you so much, Carla, for asking this question. I feel like a lot of my questions this time were a lot more personal, which I think is really nice. So how's my job going? As you guys know, I think I posted like six months ago a little update on my life and I said that I was starting a new job so it's going well honestly you guys I like what I do I think it's pretty good for an entry-level position um yeah I mean I can't really say much I like what I do it's not like a hard or stressful job by any means which is really nice but I'm learning a lot which I really appreciate because I don't know I just I really wanted to learn a lot in my first job in to the real world um what do you do and how are you liking it so I already told you guys I do really like it I think it's good for now I again this is definitely for the experience and to kind of build my resume so it's nothing like super super crazy but I do work in a lab I feel like that's all I can really say I don't want to go like too deep into my like work life because again I just kind of like to keep that part of my life a little bit more private so I hope you guys can understand that you know professionalism is a little bit more private but the next question she asked was did you get to talk to anyone in real life about your love for Bath and Body Works and fragrance so to be honest you guys I do talk to people about my love for fragrance. I wouldn't say I necessarily specify and say Bath and Body Works, but everyone there knows I love to smell good. Everyone always tells me you smell good, and they always tell me that like they know it's me because they can smell me. <laughs> I was in the bathroom 
um, and we have stalls in our restroom at work. And my friend was like, I knew it was you in the next stall because I could literally smell your smell. And so yeah, people do know in my real life that I love fragrance and Bath and Body Works. I always have like lotion and hand sanitizer on deck. So I'm definitely that girl. Going in with some bronzer, I honestly have been loving this foundation. Like it's so good. It looks amazing in real life too not just on camera. I'm going to take a little bit of this putty bronzer. I love e.l.f. products, you guys. I am an e.l.f. lover. So if they want to send me a PR package, I would definitely accept. Um, yeah, so I'm just going to apply a little bit of this putty bronzer onto my face. I really don't know how to contour very good. But I'm learning and I think it looks decent. Next question I have here is favorite place you have traveled to? How would you describe your personality? Do you see yourself moving out of California? Thank you so much for this question, Elizabeth. So favorite place I've traveled. Honestly, guys, I haven't traveled to a lot of places in my life. Um, I've been to Korea when I was like in the sixth grade and then I... I've gone to like Nevada obviously for Vegas and stuff but the most recent place I traveled to was New York and I would have to say that has been my favorite place only because like it was my first time traveling like without family I guess you know normally you travel with like your family or whoever I, that's normally who I travel with so it was really fun to like be able to travel with my boyfriend and kind of just choose what we want to do when you normally go with like your parents they plan everything out but it was super super fun i loved new york city so much definitely a place i want to go back to i always rewatch that new york vlog that i posted all the time you guys like i watch it so much because it's just so fun to look back on and I'm really really happy that I vlog those memories because I can look back on them and just like literally relive them and I will watch it on my lunch break sometimes and I'm like oh that's where I should be right now. <laughs> so Elizabeth also asked how would you describe your or how would others describe your personality? Honestly, I think others would probably say I'm very quiet. I get that a lot because when I first meet people, I am like a mute. I'm super introverted and I'm not like the most outgoing person. It definitely takes me a little while to kind of warm up to people and to really like show my full personality, if that makes any sense. I have just like super, super like bad social anxiety sometimes and I get in my head and I feel flustered and I feel like nobody wants to talk to me but it's really just in your head you know and they said do you see yourself moving out of California that is that's an amazing question because I never thought that I would ever like want to live out of California growing up I always thought I would still live in California I would just live in Southern California and now because my sister did recently move to Texas like a year ago, which I am going to go see her for my birthday, which is in a couple of weeks. I'm so excited to go see her. She recently bought a house. But besides that, I feel like she has definitely like kind of like sparked my interest in to moving out of California. California is super expensive to live in. Um, everything is expensive here. And I just feel like I would want to live in like super like big house obviously I want to live in a nice house and if you want to do that in Southern California you have to be like a freaking bajillionaire which I am not so I do see myself moving outside of California I always told myself like within these past couple of years that I want to live out of state even if it's just for like a period of like my life it doesn't have to be permanent but I would love to just like experience that kind of like of a change and a move and I can see myself moving to Texas I want to be a Dallas girl you know live my Dallas dreams but yeah so someone asked what are your other hobbies besides 
fragrance I would say probably like working out and I also just love like the art of self-care like I know that like my channel is definitely dedicated all about hygiene self-care fragrance things like that but I genuinely love to do those things oh I got this in the wrong thing I genuinely love what I do like I love to do you know videos about self-care because I genuinely love doing self-care even if it's not for a video I'm always doing ma masks exfoliating taking bath things like that just to really make me feel excited and I love to try new things but as of recently I would say probably working out has been one of my favorite things to do yeah so someone asked are you in college if you are what did you study or what are you studying so no I am not in college I graduated with my bachelor's um I guess technically it's June of 2021 so I graduated in June and I studied biology I have a bachelor's in biology <laughs> and that was a really hard time in my life nobody tells you how hard college is gonna be and if you guys are bio majors or science majors you guys can relate to how like competitive it can be and how stressful it can be <laughs> um I always said like college was the best time of my life but I was seriously so 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 stressed out during that time it was ridiculous I was constantly just like feeling like I wasn't good enough or like I wasn't smart enough and that's something I really struggle with you guys I struggle with you know feeling insecure about myself about things that I don't need to be feeling insecure about you know like I always felt like I wasn't smart enough I felt like I was dumb I felt like I was gonna fail this test like even though I knew that I studied and that I paid attention I always still felt that way so yeah college was fun but I'm really glad oh I'm really glad that I am out of college now and I don't have to worry too much about school. Some of you guys have asked me if I plan on going to a grad school or anything. Honestly, that is something that I'm still trying to figure out. I feel like when you graduate, like, undergrad, you definitely feel some sort of, like, emptiness and confusion and it just feels like you're lost in life because you don't know what you want to do, you don't know if you want to continue going to school, you don't know if you just want to hop into the work field. So that's kind of what this year has been for me is figuring that out and I still don't even have it figured out. So there you go. I'm just applying a little bit of mascara and I'm finally using waterproof mascara. I hope this will help my eyelashes stay more curled. I heard this is like the key for like Asian lashes let me know if you guys struggle with um straight lashes because I seriously cannot get my lashes to hold a curl when I use regular I'm just going in with some Anastasia brow freeze and I'm gonna just kind of do the soap brow trend and answer one last question so someone asked, what is my favorite place to shop for hygiene products if I could only choose one place? That would probably be, I have to think about this. I should have thought about this before I did this. Probably Walmart because they literally have everything. They have so many cool brands there that aren't at Target. Only thing is sometimes Walmart can just be a lot to go to because it's super busy at all times and Sometimes it's like messy in there and that just kind of kills my vibe, but definitely Walmart. Last, we're just going in with lips. I'm doing my combo. This is Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat in Medium Pillow Top or P Pillow Top Medium. And I am going to line my lips. Now, Buxom Lip Gloss in White Russian, or I think this is their Plumping Lip Cream. I just apply this in the center of my lips and it looks so stinging pretty. You guys, this foundation or this skin tint is 
so good. I'm looking at my skin right now. This is literally like a first impression. It made my skin look so poreless and so smooth. Definitely go pick this up. Like, what the heck? Rihanna killing the game. Like, look at how flawless my skin looks. Obviously, you can still see my breakout, but I don't really care. It looks so smooth. Okay, that is the end of this little makeup tutorial. Let me take my hair down and I'll be right back. So here is the final look. I think it looks so cute. I really enjoyed this sort of like get ready with me style video. I feel like, I don't know, these types of videos make me so happy because I feel like I'm literally on FaceTime with you guys. But yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this get ready with me. Let me know any other video request ideas you guys have down below and I'll see you guys in my next one. Bye!